What you guys in this video we're going to be looking at fixing the error code with what you see on the screen here plus it's called HAL underscore initialization underscore failed and we're going to go through some of the steps on how to fix this. Now there's quite a few reasons why this can happen. Outdated drivers, also uh, corrupt or incorrectly configured drivers, malware infection, damage system, files, corrupt or bad hard disk, corrupt or bad memory or driver conflict. So we're going to take a look at some of the steps that you can take to try to rectify this issue. It's pretty straightforward and uh, in no particular order let's go ahead and go down to the search here and uh, what we're going to do is type in here cmd right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator say yes to the user account control and this will open up our administrator command prompt box here now we need to type in this command what you're seeing on the screen here and uh, what this is going to do is uh, set this to true now once we've done that we can check just to make sure that that's in place by typing bcd edit space forward slash enum and you can see here in the list you should see it highlighted here i'll just quickly highlight this for you so you can see it right there so it needs to say yes and that means it's now um, activated we've now uh, put that as a true okay so let's move on to the next step what we can do here to try to fix this issue we're going to go down to the search box again type cmd right click run as administrator and say yes to the user account control back into the administrator command prompt and now we're going to type sfc space forward slash scan now and this will try to rectify any corrupt system files or anything like that and it will try to uh, fix those for us so just let that run through it will take a bit of time uh, but once you've done that you can type uh, cls and clear the screen here and we can now type check disk at chkdsk space forward slash f and let that run it may want to reboot and restart the computer just say y for yes and then we can reboot the system and it will then uh, continue with that check so let's go ahead and reboot it's going to restart and uh, once this restarts we should get a boot up screen like this and you'll get some text at the bottom and now we don't want to skip here so we just want to leave it alone and let it go ahead and do a, a, a check disk on the drive itself now if you do find errors and you're having issues you may want to do more extensive checks on that drive and back up your data immediately but we're just going to let that run okay it's just a quick check disk here so we're going to let that load up and get back to the desktop there we go now back down to the search box and we can now type in here memory then we can run the Windows Memory Diagnostics tool. Say restart now and check for problems recommended. So click on that and it will start to reboot the system. Now once we get into the Memory Diagnostics tool here, you can uh, hit F1 which will give you the options. Okay, so it will start scanning straight away but you can stop that by typing F1 on the keyboard and it should give us the options for the memory diagnostic tool. Now again you can use a uh, memtest instead of the built-in uh, Windows diagnostic tool but we're just doing this for simplicity but you can see here we do have options for basic, standard and extended and uh, once you get into the extended it will give you a lot more um, checks on the memory and you should be okay. So give that a good uh, check on extended and let that run. Now you have to be patient because it does take a fair bit of time to run a uh, memory diagnostics. Next up we're going to go to the start button settings and then update and security and the next thing you want to do here is check for Windows updates. It's important to have all the latest updates for Windows just to make sure it fix any bugs or anything like that that is known and Windows 10 has been plagued with a load of little bugs and stuff like that so you want to make sure you keep it fully updated okay and you can see there is quite a few updates on there so just run the updates to fix uh, those problems so let's go back down to the search again and uh, what we're going to do here is type in here disk and you can now see disk cleanup we can open disk cleanup and what you want to do is run a cleanup of your system and uh, this will delete all the temporary internet files and loads of other rubbish that's built up on your system and you can use this built-in tool to do that or you can use a tool 
like C cleaner as you can see here it's pretty straightforward you just install it and then run uh, the cleaning tool and it will clean all the temporary uh, files that you don't need on your system like temporary internet files history cookies loads of stuff like that next up you want to do a scan uh, with ESET online scanner or any sort of malware uh, scanning tool of your choice this one is an online scanner we're just going to quickly download the little uh, program and install that and then we can accept their terms and run a scan on the system sometimes malware does cause uh, this problem so just give your system a thorough scan and you can see here that we're just going to enable the detection of potential unwanted applications go to the advanced settings here enable detection of potentially unsafe applications and then we can put in uh, clean threats automatically and uh, that's pretty much it all you need to do now is hit the scan button this will then download all the virus signature database that it needs and then it will run a scan on your system this could take a bit of time so be patient and let it thoroughly scan all your drives and remove any malware if there is any on your system okay next up it's important to update all your drivers for that computer and we can use something like Oslogix driver updater or other types of software that you want to use to update all the drivers on that computer if you don't use software then don't use it you can then go to the motherboard manufacturers website and download all of those drivers from the manufacturers website which is straightforward but this program will just run a scan on the system and tell you uh, what uh, drivers are outdated then it will download and install those drivers for you automatically next up let's go to the start button and then back into settings and we can now go into update and security here and uh, what you want to do is go into the recovery and then click on advanced startup and click restart now from here we'll be able to access system restore if you have system restore enabled you will then be able to restore your computer back to a time when it was working correctly and uh, this is if you've tried all the other options and it's not working you can always use the system restore feature to try to fix that now once you're in the choose an option go to troubleshoot here click on troubleshoot and then go into advanced options and then go into your system restore but you can see here also we do have startup repair which you can try as well but in my case that didn't work so we're going to go straight into system restore and you can use a system restore point to try and uh, re revert your computer back to a time when it was working before you had this issue so just log in go straight into the computer here there we go and then go next and you should see a backup here or some sort of uh, restore point that you can go back to if you don't see that then obviously you haven't got system restore enabled and then the only other option for you would be to reset the pc and i'll show you how to do that quickly so hit the troubleshoot and then back into reset this pc and you can either remove everything on the computer or you can keep your files and it will just reset the pc back to a working state uh, before you had this issue if that doesn't work then do a fresh install of windows and if you're still having issues then there may be some other more sinister issue like a hardware or something like that anyway that's going to be about it for this video hope this one helped you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and uh, thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.